Bacula Enterprise Edition to the rescue. Welcome back. This is Bacula Enterprise Edition trial scenario number two, restoring files with BWeb. Beginning at the BWeb start page, click on Jobs and click on Web Restore. Like backup and administrative tasks, a restore is another job type in Bacula. Next, select the client for the data that you want to restore, and you will see a list of all the jobs that have run on that client. From here, you can search by job ID or name, or just select the most recent job. Then you'll have a browsable list of all the files from that job to restore. You can drag the files you want into the restore selection area, and when you're done, accept the file selection. Next, you'll choose which client on your network will receive the restored files, where on that client they will go, and the conditions under which existing files will be replaced. Please keep an eye on your temp directory if you're going to use it as your restore location so that you don't fill up your home partition. Now click Run Restore to begin the restore process. This may take anything from a few seconds to a few minutes depending on the number of files you're restoring. When the restore completes, you should have a job log that looks like this with the number of files expected, files restored, bytes restored, and ultimately restore OK at the bottom. The next step would be to verify that the files were restored. You can SSH or directly log in at the console and take a look at the restore directory and you should see all of your files. That completes restoring files with BWeb. Please join us for the next scenarios where we'll do the same processes but at the command line in B console.